This is the NFL on EA Sports as we welcome you to MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Buffalo Bills and the New York Giants. The longtime Panther Graham Gano has his set for his start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Terry to get the drive started. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox, 69 yards. And the Bills go down the field in just two plays to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two... End zone. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7 0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Throw right side, taken in by Bellinger. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Defense gets up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Saquon Barkley and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield their job is to go ahead and get low almost get into a ball sometimes stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole and he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now Jones. Going right back to Galladay. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. He's got room at the 30. Touchdown, Giants! Had the option to hand that one off and run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. And, oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. 
And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. They're going to run it with Barkley. And this play is not going to work. He stops short of the goal line, and this will remain a 7-6 ball game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. McKenzie now from his end zone. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. To throw again on second down. Allen. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Back to throw. Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Fabian Moreau. And the Giants are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Throwing Jones. That's complete to Slayton. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven. 12 more yards there and another first down. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. They go play action here on first down. The quick slant caught. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Hey, let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Second and goal. 
Jones. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. They'll run on first down with Singletary, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Singletary again. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. On play action, Allen. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. So there is the big arm of Josh Allen on display. He can throw it as deep as anybody, and that was an absolute laser. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. It's a game of 34. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. The first down carry for Barkley. And he is going to lose yardage here. Ed Oliver through the line and hitting him for the loss. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. The 20. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. It just appeared there that the defense, they had that red from the moment the ball was snapped. And not only did they get the interception, add a nice return on top of it, all the way to the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Yeah, and the guy made the play. He gets the points. But it really was a group effort, wasn't it? How about the coaches? They've got to be so excited. All the preparation, time in the film room. It translated into a big play that put points on the board for their team. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. 
It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Throwing on second and long. Jones, he's got Bellinger. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Off play action, Jones. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. He's gonna have the first down and more than that. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they will stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're gonna need to hit on if they're gonna get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down and they keep the drive going. Jones throw here, pulled in by Galladay. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. There goes a deep ball, end zone, and that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. It's a squib kick that still makes its way down inside the 15. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And yeah, they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. A quick pass here. He's got Shepard. He's got room at the 30. Down to the 10. Touchdown. 
Sterling Shepard. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Giants are back within a score. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch it short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there, catch it, and then run with the football. Yeah, and this just looked like a simple, ordinary play to start, but boy, did things change. Once he got free, it was off to the races, and once he had high gear, there's absolutely no one who's going to stop him. And the numbers on the next-gen stats always tells us the story. He tacked on better than 40 yards after the catch. the touchdown here to kick it away. McKenzie now from his end zone. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. come to the line to start their next drive and maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago it's back to a one score game and because of that pressure because it's now a one score game they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team you've got to be careful right here only needing two yards on second down to throw it's Allen he's got the hook up with Diggs and he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped another target for Stephon Diggs and he brings it in looking at a second and 11 now after the loss Allen going to give this one to Singletary and they will only muster a yard here to the 38 this set of downs started. They need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And he finds his man. That's Sweeney. Touchdown, Bills! Tommy Sweeney, 38 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Pass on for the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. On second and seven, Jones. Catch made by Slayton. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds, because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and they have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Throwing again on second and ten. Jones. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Off the play fake, Jones. It's complete to Robinson. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes... Now Robinson coughs up the football. It's loose. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they sit in a good spot, having the ball back after the fumble recovery and up two scores in the fourth quarter. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Flushed out right. They'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Now, I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage. But stay in bounds and let that clock tick. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. Touchdown! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will make this a 19-point game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made 
and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Multiple players getting home for the one-yard sack. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Now a play fake here on first down. He finds Robinson. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Richie James, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Giants have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. The Giant offense going to stay on the field as they'll go for two. To throw is Jones. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Tredavious White with a pick. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back.